Hey, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. You sort of caught me there. Tell you what, let's start out today and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me show you what you caught me doing. Today I have my standard old pre-stretched double prime canvas and I'm just covering the entire canvas with a very thin coat of phthalo blue. And that's all we're doing. We just take a two inch brush and scrub it in. The canvas is dry. Just going to cover the entire canvas with this very thin coat and I'm really, really scrubbing it in. There's not a lot of paint here. All I want to do is just stain the, just stain the canvas, that's all. So, that's all it takes. Just scrub it in. There. I'd suggest you use one of your old brushes to do this because it'll sort of wear a brush out. There we are. But that's all it takes. Then right off the bat, we get, we get to wash our brush first thing this time. There. Okay. We just wash our brush with odorless paint thinner, as you know. Shake it off. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. All right. Grab another two inch brush. I have several of them going here. I thought today we'd just do a little scene that's very simple and I hope you'll like. And we're going to start off with a little bit of the midnight black and just tap one corner. You can see it good. One corner right there. Okay, let's go up in here. Now maybe, maybe in our world, there's just a happy little cloud that lives up here. This is pure midnight black. Pure black. This is going to be sort of, sort of like an evening or early night scene. I guess that sounds right. I want it dark. This is our world, so we can, we can create all kind of illusions in it. There we are. Maybe a big old floaty cloud that lives right up through here somewhere. Just using the corner of the brush, a little more paint. And we'll just begin applying this however we want it. Think about little forms and shapes in your clouds and just let them happen. Clouds are interesting. You see all kinds of things in them. Shoot, when we were kids, my brother Jim and I, we used to, we used to sort of lay on our back out in the field and look up at clouds and see all kinds of crazy shapes in them. I bet you've done that too, whether you'll admit it or not. <laughs> There you go. But you see all kinds of shapes in there. There. Wherever, wherever, wherever. It doesn't matter. There we go. This is the last show of the 28th Joy of Painting series. So I'm certainly glad you're with us today. Certainly glad you're with us. There. Because this is really the highlight of my whole life, is to make these shows and to join you in your home or wherever you happen to be and paint along with you. There, that's what I think every artist craves and needs, is for people to accept his work. And through television, you have done that. This has become the most popular art show in the history of television, and it's your fault. And I thank you very, very much for your support, for all the calls and the letters that have went to stations all over the country, literally all over the world now. That's what keeps us on the air. So if you have time, Give them a call. Give them a call. They need your support anyway. All right. And we can put just a couple over here somewhere. Now then, tell you what let's do. I'm going to get one of my little blender brushes and take and just tap one little corner into the least little bit of titanium white. Tiny little bit. You can always add more. And maybe right here behind this cloud, there's a little light coming out. So we're just gonna paint with a blender brush because I want it to be very soft, very gentle. This takes very little paint, very little paint. And it's gonna mix with the blue and we'll just have a light source coming from right behind that cloud. There we go. See, looks like it, maybe the moon's back here. Maybe it's coming out of this side too, we don't know. But see, in your world, you can create any illusion that you want any illusion. That's what's so great about this. Mm. I like painting because it gives me total freedom. And it's the only place in my whole life that I've had total freedom to do anything that I wanted to do, to create any illusion that I needed, to go to any world that was desirable. There. And you can do that. You can do that. There we are. But isn't that neat, the way it looks like now, lights coming from behind that little rascal? 
And that's all there is to it. There, firm that cloud up just a little bit with the old two-inch brushing. That's basically all I'm going to do for this guy. When you're doing yours, you may want to put a little more detail in. It's up to you, up to you. But this will certainly show you how to do it. What you do is up to you. There. See there? We got old Cloud hiding up there looking out. Got the moon behind him and he's watching everything. Let's have some fun. I'm going to take, I might as well mix up a pretty good pile, alizarin crimson and sap green. The two of them together make a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. Sort of, I'm going to mix it sort of to the reddish side. That's my favorite. But you may like it more to the green side. It's up to you. Up to you. We'll just put that pile up there. Wipe the knife off. Today, let's use the little small round brush. We'll go right into that nice brown color that we just made. Just tap the brush into it. That's all. No big deal. Just tap it right into it. Okay, let's go up in here. Maybe in our world there lives, which does now, some little trees back here in the background, wherever. All we're doing is putting in some dark color so our light will show. Just a little bit of dark. There it comes. There. All I'm looking for is just very basic little shapes, like little trees that are far away. Far away, back here, like so. There. We don't care. Tell you what, I've got several of these brushes going. I'm going to grab another one. And on that one, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow, bright red. I'll just mix them on the brush here, a little yellow ochre, and tap. Just tap it to load it. A little more bright red, maybe. Ooh, that's nice. I'm making an orange color because orange, when put against blue, is striking. Let's go up here. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Mm. I like seeing, I like colors like that. They do nice things for you. And of course, none of us are interested in selling paintings, but if you're out there selling a painting now and then, these kind of colors sell. People love them. They brighten up a dull room. Just sort of vary back and forth between the reds and the yellows. And, but notice they're brighter on the top than they are on the bottom. You need a little shadow toward the bottom. That makes them look real. There we go. Wherever, wherever, wherever. All right. I'm going back to the other side right here. Forgot that little rascal. Don't want him left out. Nothing worse than a mad tree. They really get upset with you sometimes. Don't want to upset him. There. Okay. Back to my brush. That two-inch brush has brown on it. And let's put a let's put a little bit of brown under here. Don't want to don't want to lose all that blue flavor. See that blue's still going to show through. I hope you can see that. But it'll still show through, sort of. This whole painting will have sort of a bluish cast to it because of the thalo blue that we put underneath. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. If we can just literally, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just put a lot down here. We'll decide where we're going with it later. Why, why not? We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. But notice, I'm intentionally not covering up all that blue. I want it to, I want it to show through. See these areas in here where it's showing through? I'm looking for that. It's important to me in this particular painting. There. See now, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Nice and easy. Maybe we'll bring it all the way down. What the heck? If we, if we want to change our mind, we can do that later too. It doesn't matter. Since this is our world, we can do anything that we want to do here. Any old thing. All right. Now we got enough brown on here to get us started. Going back to my little, little small round brush, little half round brush. Tap in a little more of that same brown color. And, yep, 
You know Bobby. Gotta have a gotta have a big tree in his world. There. Sometimes I get letters from people. I said your painting was just perfect until you put that silly old big tree in it at the end. Please don't feel just because I put a tree in here that you have to. If you don't want a tree in your world, don't put it in. That's what makes painting so great. It's a very individual thing. All right. I want some on the other side, too. What the heck? We'll just sort of fill this in. Well, we could have actually done all this with a two-inch brush. It wouldn't have mattered. Would not have mattered. Let's have some fun. I'm going to take a little touch of that same color that we used, tap a little onto the old two inch brush. Okay, let's go up in here and very gently begin putting in some little, little soft grassy areas back in here. There we are. See, that's all there is to it. All there is to it. I'm going to take a little titanium white, put a little black with it and make a gray color like so. There, a little white, a little black. Make us a little gray. We'll play with that. We'll use that as a highlight color once in a while. We'll just touch a little of that. Oh yeah, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's just what I was looking for. Just exactly. Exactly. Whew. Ooh, I get excited sometimes. Sorry. There we are. That easy. I'm just going to sort of jump back and forth between all those little colors and every once in a while hit that gray color we made just, just to highlight a little. Sometimes maybe even a little bit of the little touch of that phthalo blue because I want to keep this blue hint throughout this painting. There, back and forth, forth and back. There we are. All right. A little more of the yellow ochre, a little red. Mm. Okay. Tell you what, let's do. I'm going to take a little yellow, a little bit of the bright red. We'll mix them together right here. I want to make a little pile of orange. Ooh, that's nice. Orange to the red side. Wipe the knife. Take my little round brush and tap right in there. Just tap it. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go back up here. Now then, I want to come back. Ooh, nice. I want to come up in here and begin putting some little highlights right up on those, all of those little trees that we painted. There. There they come. Think about form and shape and little arms sticking out in there. That's what makes your tree special. That's why it makes it special. There we go. I like these. Like to do paintings like this. A lot of fun. And they're easy. Even if you've never painted, these are simple little paintings. In fact, we try to design all these paintings in this series for people who have painted a lot, as well as for people who are just beginning. There. And they work for everybody. We hope. I'm going to do that on the other side, too. Only maybe, maybe less distinct over here. Just a little. Just some indications. I think I'll put some, maybe some more trees in front of this one. So I don't want this one as distinct. Just some little indications. There. Okay. Yeah, we can sort of, sort of come up in here and clean up the bottom of that a little just by tapping in some little grassy areas. Something about like that. All right. Let's take our little filbert. I'm gonna go into that brown color I made. Take the little filbert brush. And in my world, I think here's a tree. Yep, you're right, it is right there. Happy little tree. And he's got a little friend there. We don't even know where he goes. Got another arm there. There's one, however many trees we want in our world. Take our liner brush, a little bit of that same brown color. 
And we'll just put the indication here and there, but a few limbs, but something like so. I'm gonna put leaves on these, so we don't have to put a lot of detail in them. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. A few of these little limbs will show, but the majority of them we'll cover up. There we are. Something like that. While we got that little brush going, I'm gonna go right into a little bit of that gray color we made with a little paint thinner. Maybe down in here, put the indication of a little fence that lives back here. I don't want it to be very distinct, it's too far away. Just like so. Just a little indication. It's wee back in the distance. Now, back to our little brush. And we'll put a few little leaves out here on this. I decided I was going to do that. That's the reason I wasn't worried about what was behind it so much. See? Maybe even down in here. See, you just put these wherever you think they should be. And we'll take them and put a little paint thinner on the brush because we're getting quite a buildup of paint. And I'll go right into my orangey color that I made. Okay, and we'll have little highlights right up here on that rascal. You just put them wherever you think they should be. There. Mm, I like it. Do like it. It's the colors that I like so well in this particular painting, I think. They just get prettier the more we do. All right, something about like so. That's about all we need. Okay, ready to get crazy? Let's do it. Maybe right out here in our world, we'll check you. This is your bravery test. Maybe, yeah, what the heck. Maybe there's a big old cabin out here. Maybe it's got a big roof like that. Just sort of lay it out in your mind. Use the knife. Maybe, come, maybe there's a little porch sticks out here. I don't know. Don't know that it even matters. I'm just removing excess paint. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. I didn't make quite enough of that brown color. Crimson and sap green just mixed together. Just mix up a little more right here real quick. All right, now then, take a little of that brown and we can begin blocking in our little house. Just begin blocking it in like that. See, you're not committed yet. You can still change your mind if you want to. That's what's so great. Over here, see, just pull that across, straight down. There, it's a good way to see if you like your little house. We were gonna have a little porch sticking out there. We can do that, that easy. Get right down the side. Over here, I know this doesn't make any sense, but it will in just a second. It will, I hope. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Now, I'm gonna take some white, a little bit of that brown color and a little black in it. I don't wanna over mix it. And let's start down here. And it's too bright. I want it darker than that, so I'm gonna put a little more black in it. Too bright for this painting. That's a little better. Now we'll just begin putting like some shingles on there. Some old shingles on the house. Most of them are, have been blown off over the years, so, but there's still a few hanging up here still. I'm using the small edge of the knife. There we go. There they come. There they come. Something about like so. Most of them have been blown away. Take that same color. Actually, it's just brown and white. A little black in it. There we go. Pull that straight down, like so. And over on this side here, almost nothing. Almost nothing. Little post right out here to hold up our, gotta hold up our little porch. There little touch of highlight that runs right along there just to make that stand out. There. A little bit of 
bit of brown, and we'll turn that into old boards or slabs just by touching, making little little streaks. All this we'll just cut off and do a cabinectomy later. Let's have a a big window, big picture window. Take a little bit of the cad yellow with a little touch of yellow ochre in it. There. Now, there, fix this little window all up. To, and we got a window right there so he can see out. Now then, let's go back, pick some of our, all of our colors, and let's just begin filling this in with little grassy areas all up through here. See, there. All right, maybe a little of that gray color. Just to put some little highlights here and there, wherever, wherever. <clears throat> but isn't that, isn't that something else? You can do little paintings like this. They're very easy and they work for you. They work for you. And you have unlimited time at home. You can just piddle and play and have more fun. If I take too much time here, they have no sense of humor. None whatsoever. There. I'm using a little bit of the phthalo blue once in a while and a little bit of that gray just to sort of mix them together. Whatever. But that blue hint will come through on the entire painting just because you underpainted it with blue. There we go. of the land here is very important the way the land flows so pay attention to that don't just throw these in at random don't just throw them in at random all right okay we're coming right along here we just take this all the way down to the bottom it doesn't matter wherever you want to go with it wherever I want it to be a little darker down here, so I'm going more into the browns. All right. Same thing over in here. About like that. And you can take your time. And as I say, you can really work at this and smooth it all out. It's unbelievable what you can do. And I know you can do it. I know you can do it. There we go. As I mentioned, this is the last show of the 28th Joy of Painting series. And I want to thank you very much for being with us. It really is your support that keeps us on the air. And you're special. Very, very special. Without you, we wouldn't be here. <clears throat> so before we have to leave, I want to, on behalf of my partners, Walt Manette Kowalski, and all the fantastic people here at the station. We'd like to thank you for your support and for, for making us feel special. I'm gonna take a little of that paint thinner, a little yellow ochre here and there. Maybe there's some bushes that live down here. We'll throw in a few little weeds. We'll use a little yellow ochre, sometimes a little bit of cad yellow, a little red, just mixed together. Just to give the impression, ooh, there's a nice one. Some nice little bushes that live right here. There. Something about like that. Shoot, I think we about have a finished painting. Let's sign this rascal. Take a little paint thinner, a little bit of red, and we'll sign it. Really hope you've enjoyed this painting and this entire series. It's always our pleasure to be with you. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. Until next time, God bless, my friend. Thank you.